Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Brie Michelle. Um, I'm doing this to update you guys on my surgery journey. And I have been getting a lot of direct messages on Instagram and YouTube about surgery questions. And um, I hope everybody watched my videos that I did show when I was in Columbia and the questions I answered after the surgery. Um, I'm going to do another one, and I hope everybody will get a very clear understanding of everything I went through while I was there. Um, so here it goes. Okay. So my doctor was Dr. Fernando Ortega. His Instagram is at D-R-F-E-R-N-A-N-D-O-R-T-E-G-A. -E okay. His page is private. If you are interested in using my doctor, you have to follow him on Instagram, click the link in his bio to his WhatsApp, and direct message them via WhatsApp and tell them you're interested in getting a quote for surgery. I do not work with the surgeon. I am not a consult for the surgeon. What I did to get surgery with him is, I direct messaged him on Instagram, he sent me to his WhatsApp. I sent him pictures, I waited a week for them to respond. They have a lot of people wanting to get surgery. So if they do not respond instantly, I would look at another doctor or I would be patient and wait, okay? There's no number you can physically call them. You have to WhatsApp them. They're in a whole other country. Um, I do recommend him. They were very, very fast at responding. But remind you, I got my surgery in February. This, we're in May right now. So keep that in mind. The recovery house I stayed at was Amy's Recovery Home. Um, the doctor did not recommend that recovery house. I chose that on my own, doing my own due diligence research, and I found out that was a recovery house I went to stay in. Um, her Instagram name is at I M I S Recovery Home, Amy's Recovery Home, and I do recommend her. Now, if you are looking to not do any leg work and have somebody just set up your own surgery for you and connect you with doctors and you know stuff like that i do recommend a friend of mine that is from new york he owns lux recovery that's l l u x e recovery i did not stay with him because when i was trying to come down there and do the surgery his recovery house was booked up uh, but i do recommend him he's very good he knows he has a lot of knowledge about the surgery in columbia as well as he speaks english okay so let me answer a few questions that everybody keeps asking me um, about the recovery home. In the most recovery homes, they do not speak English. Now, the owner of the recovery house I stayed in, which was Amy's recovery home, she speaks Spanish and English. None of my nurses spoke English but one, and she was my night nurse. I downloaded Google Translator, and each nurse has Google Translator on their phone to type in whatever I want to ask them to translate. You honestly do not need them to speak English because when you're in pain, you really don't have nothing to talk about but being in pain. You know what I'm saying? And I know people are like, no, that's dumb. I need to tell them I'm in pain, but trust me, you don't because you're, gonna, you're not going to want to be bothered. And most of these recovery houses, they offer Wi-Fi, Netflix. I had my phone and I had my computer. Only person I wanted to talk to in English was my family and friends and let them know I'm alive. Okay, so if that's something you're worried about, I would not suggest going out the country for surgery because their their native language is Spanish. So some of them do know English and some of them don't. And a lot of people tend to get mad. However, you can't fault them for that. You're in their country. Excuse me. Um, my surgeon, um, Ortega, he spoke English. So that was a good thing. Um, I did not know he spoke English, but he spoke English and his staff spoke English. Um, and they did everything they could to make me feel as comfortable as possible. Um, I do recommend him. Um, I love my results. I love the responses I got from them. It was a very, very good experience. Um, next question. Uh, people keep asking me about when I came back to Atlanta, how was the travel? My travel was fine. My body was swollen. I did not wear my faja on the plane because my surgeon told me not to. And you need the faja after surgery for about three to six months to keep your swelling down so you don't just blow up like a big old balloon. No, I do not have my faja on now, but I wear it now that I'm in Atlanta and I'm on my second month with two weeks. I wear it at night and I wear it all day during the day when I'm working at my personal salon underneath my scrubs. Um, 
No, I had no issues sitting on my butt. I sat on my butt the day after I had surgery, up until today. And my butt is still big as hell. <laughs> Um, they gave me a butt pillow. I utilized it, but not as much as I, I, I probably could have. Um, they say that you're not supposed to sit on your butt because you'll lose fat. But honestly, I had a, a big booty to start with where if I was to lose a little bit of fat out of, my, out of my butt, I probably would not even care. But I did sit on my butt from the day after surgery until today. Now, I'm not going to recommend anybody else to not do it because I think you should listen to whatever your surgeon tells you to do. However... Everybody asking me what did I did, that's what I did. Um, now, I do recommend before you do surgery, you need to make sure you look at all the risk and, and, and issues that come with surgery. Um, I've been seeing in the surgery world, a lot of people have been dying in VR, um, somebody in Miami, and you know, it scares me. I'm happy to be alive, but at the same time, I don't want to be somebody out here telling girls to go get surgery and then you guys come back and you know you're not here to even show your your body your beautiful body to the world what i will say is before i left i wrote a will um I, I i told my sister everything that was in my name my account information just in case something did happen to me so my daughter would be good and i think everybody should do that before they go into surgery because you just never know and just because one doctor including mine has no deaths doesn't mean that it couldn't happen to you so I feel like you need to really make sure this is really what you want to do. Do your research. Make sure you're healthy. And make sure you're set just in case the, the bad does happen. Um, the next thing I definitely think is you shouldn't rush. I have been looking into surgery for over a year. Um, in December is when I actually got my quote from them. And then I finally booked in the beginning of February. And I went at the end of uh, February. Um, and I wanted to go because they say it's good to go in the spring or the winter or the fall. You don't want to go when it's sunny outside because um, it is very, it is very um, hot. And they say you don't heal good in the hot. As well as you have to wear the faja and not the stage one. The stage one is the, the faja they give you after surgery. You, know, you have to wear your stage two. And if you look at my, um, at one of my videos I posted, I posted a video with the faja on. It, it hurts and it's very uncomfortable. And trust me, you see, I have this on now. There's no faja on. You don't want to wear your faja in the summertime. It does not feel good. It's annoying. And a lot of girls, they get surgery and their body doesn't look good because they don't wear their faja. They don't get their massages and they don't work out. I got over 30 massages. 30. 12 when I was out there, the rest here and then some in Thailand. I wear my faja. I bought a new faja from Colombia, but when I got here, I emailed them and got a new one. To, and I'm gonna buy another one in the next couple of weeks. And I have a trainer that's working me out. So once you get the surgery, there still is a maintenance that you have to keep to keep your body looking good. Or you're gonna be fat again. You're gonna go for round two, and then you're gonna go for round three. Um, so I definitely feel like it is a excuse me. I definitely feel like it's a big in, investment. And if you don't have the money to invest, you need to wait. Be patient. I spent $6,500 going to Columbia, booking my surgery, buying the Fajas, and that's just down there. When I came back to Atlanta, I had to pay for my massages. That was even more money. So I probably have spent almost close to $8,000. And another thing that I think girls need to realize is when you're going... For surgery, you're down there for 13 days. A lot of girls say they don't want to be there. In Columbia, you have to be there for 13 days, 13 to 14 days. And honestly, it's for your safety because on my fifth day, I was still in pain. You think I wanted to come back to Atlanta and deal with my life here? No. I stayed down there. I wasn't in a rush. If you can't give up two weeks of your life, you definitely don't need to be going to have surgery. And that's just my opinion. Secondly... Um, I definitely feel like a lot of people, they don't have realistic goals about how their body will look. Realistically, if you're a bigger person, you probably need to lose weight and then have the surgery. You're not going to come out snatched as a term we all love to use if you already are a bigger person. And I mean no disrespect to anybody when I'm saying this. I was kind of small. I had a frame, but I had a little bit of loose skin. So that's why... I look so good from my surgery like all y'all think I do because I had something to start from. If you don't have nothing to start from, 
then realistically, your goals are not going to be met. You're going to have to go back again. Um, I do feel like if you have a job, you need to at least try to take off a month. Um, when I came back to Atlanta after the 13 days, I was still in pain. Yes, you all see me up and moving, but the reason being is because I work for myself. I have my own business. So I work to my pace. So the ser services I do, facials and stuff, I can sit and do them. I'm not picking up plates. I'm not at somebody's desk for two hours. So at the end of the day, if you have a job and you work for somebody else, you definitely need to be able to take off for about a month because you're gonna need that recovery time. Definitely, you're gonna need it. You're gonna have to wear a faja underneath your clothes. It may be uncomfortable. You're definitely gonna need that recovery time. Um, I had a lot of people ask me about butt implants. I do not know anything about butt implants. I'm sorry, I didn't get butt implants. I got the fat took out of my body and put into my butt and my hips. That's all I know about. Honestly, I can say that the worst pain was the lipo. The BBL, the Brazilian butt lift, and getting my boobs done were nothing. It was the lipo that hurts the most. The recovery time is a lot. I still have times where I'm still swollen. I'm still in recovery. I'm only two months and a couple of weeks. Um, this is a long journey and I just keep dropping weight. Um, I do have a trainer. I am gonna post a workout, a couple of workout videos that I've done with him so you guys can see workouts for people who after they have surgery post-op um, in the next couple of weeks. So pay attention to that. Um, my eating, um, I'm trying my best to eat as healthy as possible. I'm going to start doing meal prep. Um, I do love my results. There's a lot of things I cannot fit. This is a small and it's too big on me. Um, I guess that's a good thing. Um, I didn't get my boobs done down there. I got them done in Atlanta. Dr. Calgrove at the Vining Surgery Center. He does not have an Instagram. You have to look him up via Google. Um, I love my boobs. Um, they measure me at a 34D. But it, um, but my CCs are 400 CCs, and that's if you ever get your boobs done, you'll kind of they'll teach you about CCs. Um, my clothes size, I'm a size small. Pants, I'm a medium. Um, a lot of my pants don't fit at the waist; I have to get them altered. A lot of girls think that's so fun and so cute, but it's really not. It's annoying. Um, you need to wear a belt. It's just it's annoying. I just don't. It's a lot of money because you have to buy all new clothes. Um, it's a big investment. Um, I definitely feel like if you're not happy with how you look or there's something you want to change about yourself, definitely change it if you can, but do it as safe and smart as possible. Don't rush. Save your money. Make sure your bills are paid. I mean, I did all of that. I've been thinking about this for over a year. Um, it's just something that I really, really wanted. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions anybody else had. Um, I don't, I'm not on any meds anymore. Um, I'm just living my normal life. Um, I haven't been depressed. I've actually been really enjoying it. I get more attention from guys. I'm sure it's for the wrong reasons. So be prepared for that once you come back with a big booty. <laughs> um, my family and friends love it. Um, they don't say anything negative about it. Um, but I, like I said, I spent down there just 6,500 altogether. That's my flight. And again, your quote from my doctor may be different. It's a different time. You're a different person. Your age is different. So you have to get your quote based off you, not off me. My flight is no reason for nobody to ask me how much I've spent on my flight because I'm flying from Atlanta. You don't know what airline I flew. You might fly a different airline, be flying from LA, and it may be cheaper, who knows. But the estimated amount is 6,500 that I spent down there. And that's just down there. Um, so that's something you guys have to keep in mind. Um, I recommend people to not pack a lot of stuff because you're not going to use the stuff. I packed sundresses and I never wore any of it. I was in my pajamas and a damn faja with some socks on every day with a scarf. Okay. Um, maybe two summer uh, maxi dresses and then an outfit to wear to the airport and that's it. Um, I don't think you need first class flying back um, because... Again, you're up walking, you're sitting on your butt during the plane ride. Um, I do recommend doing a wheelchair because it gets you through the airport faster, especially on your way back if you're in pain a little bit, and I was. Um, so I do recommend adding on. I'm sorry, I'm just digging all in my eye. I got makeup on from my photo shoot earlier. But I do recommend um, getting a wheelchair because um, it got me past everything pretty, pretty fast. Um, 
but I I feel like there's a lot of good doctors in Columbia. Um, I chose him because I looked at the frame of the girls that he does, and then I compared myself. So I do think everybody.